I'm here with David Salvadore. Salvadore. David Salvadore, and he is the one who made the logo, but he is more than just a designer and a concept artist. He is also a fellow gamer with his own channel, which I am so excited about. I started my channel because I was trying to promote my design and concept art. But what's funny is when my channel really started taking off is when I did that HeroQuest board build that was inspired by what you had done. That's when I actually started getting a a lot more involvement, support, and interaction with the community and people subscribing. Um, my channel was very flat. And then right when I put gaming and model building stuff on there, it just started really taking off. The thing that I love about what you're doing, David, is you know so many people don't have 3D printers yet, and they're a little bit hesitant to jump into that because it's still a pretty steep learning curve and you have to invest a lot of time and it's a hobby unto itself. So a lot of people aren't really ready to jump there. And your builds are completely without a 3D printer. You're using foam and you're using relatively available craft supplies. I'm old school. Old school, that's right. right. <laughs> to uh, catch up the audience with how I got back into gaming because I got kids and I thought, you know what? I'd, I'd really like for them to get into some tabletop gaming. I'm not fond of them being glued to a TV or a monitor playing video games. And, and I had such a great time when I was in my uh, late teens playing games with my buddies. So I, I thought, you know what? I remember HeroQuest, it was a really fun game. I ought to get it. I found it on eBay. We started playing it again and my kids loved it. I thought to myself, I wonder if I could could make a three-dimensional version, found your video. You inspired me to do the whole wall system. I magnetized it the best that I could. My kids love it. I really appreciate the fact that with your HeroQuest board, you also made a lot of tutorials, like how to paint one of the walls with moss on it. So if you're interested, um, David has really detailed how to build so that you can follow along as well. So I really appreciate that about your videos. That video series has done so well. You know, I did a poll and I said, do you guys want to see more drawing stuff or more building stuff? And they're like, building. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, so I'll take Blood Bowl. And that's what I'm working on right now is a Blood Bowl series to kind of thank the gaming community for all their support. And I'll go ahead and link uh, with a card up at the top. Uh, so make sure you click on that as well because the Blood uh, the Blood Bowl board is amazing. And you're being faithful to the original board, which was two-sided and you just come completed the dungeon side and next you're working on the field side. And, and it's all experimenting. I think one of the neatest things about building, and I'm sure you go through this too, is problem solving. A lot of times you don't know how you're gonna make the thing. You just want to make it. I always start with drawings because that's the best way. It's like the blueprint for how you're gonna actually make the thing. So I started the series with a drawing and then each week I'm working on it step by step and then, you know, filming, editing and posting so that you guys are seeing more of the step by step progress. You mentioned that you have kids. Um, how much are they enjoying all of the builds that you're doing? You know, it's funny because when I first started with some of these games, I wanted them to enjoy it in its original way. When we played Hero Quest, it was that claustrophobic board. <laughs> <laughs> you know, things all bumping into each other. And so what's really neat is as I was building it, we were starting to even play with an unfinished board. And then each time we would play a quest, it would get uh, more walls or painted doors. And then by the end, we had actually finished the quest with a completed set. They got to experience the full thing and they really appreciated every phase of it. That's so awesome. I mean, they're, go they're gonna think that all games are <laughs> have these awesome 3D boards. So when they actually go to a regular board game, they're going to be, what? Right. So I did a 3D Space Hulk and then my kids saw the original Space Hulk and they were like, Daddy, you played on it and it was flat? We had to use our imagination, <laughs> you know? That's awesome. Yeah, I've ruined them. Well, let's go ahead and transition to um, just your work as a designer and as a con concept artist. The way that you and I connected, you know, I was helping you out with your... Uh, Hero Quest board, you had reached out to me, and yep. then you know, I was looking to replace my icon for my channel, which was just a photograph of one of the beholders that I painted. For a long time, I've been thinking about you know, changing that up, but just never got around.
around to it. You were gracious enough to offer your talents and skills and you actually drew up some concept art based off of some of the stuff that I shared. So can you share a little bit about how that whole creative process goes? And just by me asking you what you were wanting it to be, you know, some words that you were thinking of and you wanted it fun and kind of whimsical and playful. And then you let me know about some of the things that your channel is about with 3D printing, painting miniatures, and then of course the gaming aspect. Bob the Beholder is a is a busy character to begin with. You know, he's got the eyes, tentacle eyes and all that. So I figured if I started adding all those other elements, it would be kind of a train wreck. So I, I came up with one idea for each bucket of the things that your channel represented. And as you can see here, here's some of the thumbnails that I had done for you. And really you're just going for it and having a good time and trying to just come up with ideas. And then as you can see here, here's the final logo. You do most of your drawing on the iPad and just using Procreate. And as I understand it, you've actually done concept art for actually stuff that most of my viewers would know or maybe even recognize, right? Like Hot Wheels, um, a lot of toy products, things like that from Mattel. A brief history is um, I actually worked in the makeup effects industry for 10 years. I worked on movies like Starship Troopers, uh, Face saw Spider-Man 2, Alien versus Predator. Awesome. Where, you know, I'm getting to sculpt some of the Predator's armor and sculpt the Queen Alien, paint, you know, face huggers and stuff like that. I actually transition out of makeup effects. I kind of saw the writing on the wall that I might need to change careers. A buddy of mine that I worked with said, hey, why don't you get into storyboarding? You're pretty fast at drawing. I uh, got an agent and then started to work in um, advertising and toys. So I've been working in the toy industry pretty much for 15 years and the last two years I've been running my own business. You know, in many ways, even though I do talk a lot and review different games, especially tabletop miniature games, at the end of the day, the thing I enjoy the most is painting them and uh, creating the 3D board. Uh, because at heart, I think like you, I'm a, I'm a hobbyist first and then a gamer second. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm more, I'm more into the build. I just use the game as an excuse to build things. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fantastic. And viewers, if you are looking for a concept artist or designer, definitely reach out again, links in the descriptions below to David's website as well. So make sure to reach out to him if you're interested too. But I am so excited and so thankful for this awesome design that you've created with Bob the Beholder. It just gives so much more character, I think. And uh, I know a ton of my Patreon supporters said, oh yeah, if you make a design, you know, then I'll buy a t-shirt or something like that. Oh, so man. it's helping out my channel a lot. So thanks so much. Uh, I, I really appreciate it, Bob. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. And we got to help each other out, right? Fellow hobby. Yeah. Yes, and fellow gamers. So that's a great community that's online. So I'm really Yeah, it's thankful. a lot of fun. Um, I've been really supported by that community and I'm, I'm very appreciative. I have other projects too that I already have the wheels turning that I think they're gonna like in the future. So make sure you subscribe and like and all that kinds of good stuff for David. And uh, he's gonna come out with some great content. So looking forward to that and uh, we'll stay in touch. Thank you, my friend. Hey, it's Dave Salvadore with Blue Line Design. Visit my channel where I share with you my design process and projects.